hi welcome my name is Obinda Ko. today I want to share with you how to think clearly to improve your life how to think clearly to improve your life um, subscribe to this channel it's about uh, entrepreneurship personal finance it's about business it's about personal development um, says things like that so you can also share it with somebody uh, who you think may be interested in this so today I want to share with you how to think clearly uh, to improve your life most of us um, would grow up in an environment where not much importance is placed on weaving out our life uh, with with the way we think and if you look around the world those who have been able to do anything significant um, or anything that is impressive whether it's business whether it's any innovation whether it is any social change that they have brought um, a lot of them have not um, played down the ability to think the ability to think we have had a generation where um, thinking is you know is is linked to going to school so uh, if you have a degree then we assume that you can think if you have a higher more than a degree then we assume that you can think so uh, you would not want to associate thinking with those we we think did not go to go to school but let's let's be truthful to ourselves a lot of us the school we went to is good was just going to read and memorize it and write it and that was it a lot of us that was not a product of thinking you know so your ability to think that's why you have a lot of graduates looking for job why because the proof of thinking the proof that you are thinking clearly is being able to solve problems immediate problems problems that are close to you that's the best way to prove that somebody else is thinking you know so if you if you have an unemployment situation and you cannot solve it it means that you are not able to think well for yourself and most people are not able to think well for themselves that's why we have to rely on the structures things must be in good place before we can get any opportunity you know so your ability to think to 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 think to improve your life is so critical look at what feeds your mind look at what you feed your mind with it's so important what you feed your mind with if you are not feeding your mind with quality information you will not be able to think clearly about your life look at how you use your time what you put in your time where your time has gone if you are not able to look at where you're spending because time is the most precious element on this earth so for, so long as your life is concerned yesterday is never going to come back if you're 20 years you have spent those 20 years if you're 40 years those 20 40 years are gone so your ability to look at time as as a pressure commodity and not waste it and link it to the productivity that your life uh, has to have then you are thinking if you're not able to link it that way you are not clear you are sleeping you are, you are still not up you know so those who are up then they they know how to use their time and what to put in their time the other thing that you will want to see is that those who clearly think well are able to ask a lot of questions they ask why why is this this way why is this that way if you're not asking questions it means that you're not up yet you're still sleeping you have not you have not getting out of your slumber because you have to ask questions on everything to make sure that the questions that you're asking will, will get you to the solutions that you are looking for you know so those who are thinking ask a lot of questions ask questions why my life is like that why is a country like that why is the company not doing well why is my finances like that why am i having this sickness what can i do to solve these problems you know what you put in time and the questions that you ask they are very much important to what you become a lot of people who are sleeping are super they are very much super uh, obsessed with religion you know a lot of us will not even go to they will not even travel until they seek they get uh, permission from somebody to say that uh, you can go the road is clear you know their mind is now they they put their mind on hold and somebody else has to make every decision for them so their finances their time their family everything around them has to be uh, controlled by another person if your life is under that kind of uh, 
suppression you are not in charge of your life you must know that you are responsible for the things that happen in your life and a lot of the things that are going to happen in your life are going to be linked to the quality of the thoughts that you're, you're really uh, coming up with you know so if somebody else is responsible for all the critical decisions in your life then you are not thinking then why do you need your head in the first place you know so you have to know that you're an adult you're responsible for your life and that is the best way to become successful in this life where you take ownership of your life unfortunately a lot of us have have, have you know left that for people you know so a lot of us will look up to politicians a lot of us will look up to our religious leaders some of us will look up to uh, sports people entertainers you know and that's where we you you are 40 years you're always playing game and you you are talking about what is your team Chelsea or Manchester United in Accra, Ghana. And you know that you don't have a job, you are not doing anything with your life, and yet you have money, you go to my bed, you are not thinking, you are sleeping. And a lot of people are like that.